Well, funny enough, I don't think we're going to be able to get the thumper to activate. But this is really just a trial, just to see. So activate SAS, and we are not moving anywhere. Nice. What is up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where we are just about to land from the end of the last episode. Thankfully, I have now relieved myself, and he is now... I was about to say been relieved as captain of this vessel, but that kind of has a bad effect to it. Uh, he has now been recovered, <laughs> and we're on to the next episode. So, we got 1.3 signs from that, which is not great. I think I forgot to get a crew report. Uh, we got a little bit of funds, and we got one of those contracts completed. So let's get our next contract. Active contract would be... Swivel liquid fuel landed. Oh. Landed at Kerbin. To perform this test... Landed. Huh. I kind of want to try that, but at the same time, I'm good. Uh, da -da. It, it doesn't pay that well, and I think we can get better from other stuff. Test the swivel engine. Oh, wait, that's the one I was just reading. I saw the landed part, and I immediately noticed that. Get into suborbital trajectory. That's Well, we already need to do that, so I think that's the one we're going to do. And it means using the thumper at 100, and we can do that. I do believe. Now let's go back and build our next uh, rocket. I was about to say machine, but once again, bad terminology. Do we have enough? I think we do. Let's see if we can upgrade our uh, da -da -da -da, the science vessel. I just spoke to another bull. Bad idea before recording. Yes, we can. Nice. So we just upgraded to level two. We can now use a hundred and some odd parts rather than 30. And we're about to make the best rocket we've made so far. So, uh, let's cancel that. Make a new rocket. We don't have to worry about parts. We don't have to worry about any of that crap. So I'm going to immediately start decking it out with science stuff. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Some science. Oh, look. You can even see our logo. Nice. Let's get that down let's get some mystery science containers on the side and then let's get some survivability up here so it'd be nice to have this guy survive his flight let's get that up there and immediately separate the staging once again because that always fucks up i think that's all we need if i am remembering correctly now i believe we can also do a heat shield there the science vessels will explode if you come in too hot, and, but I think we can actually salvage them. If not, I might be able to cheese at least one of them out of it. Past that, let's add some decouplers and zoom out because our rocket's going to get big very fast. We need some fuel. Let's start adding a shitload of fuel. Get two of those set up. Oh yeah, we can use 255 parts and we can have 140 tons. We are not even close to getting past that. So let's use this here as our main part of the rocket. Do I have any... Hmm, how much science do I have? Probably not enough to get the next wing upgrade. I'll check here in a second. Uh, let's get our next swivel booster up and then we can get a stack decoupler and then we can get hopefully hopefully we can do this now I'm thinking we can have well, I have to move this even higher I'm thinking we can have two of these at the bottom here and then stack decoupler because our contract wants it to be at a hundred and ten thousand yeah, so I'm thinking we can have two of those there, and then have radial decouplers on this. Oops, probably need more than that. Have four of those boogers right there, and have some thumper engines on there like so. And then have, I still don't have, I do have aerodynamic cones. Nice. Let's put four of those down. And then take some more radial thrusters, and 
put them like so, where we'll have some more thumpers. Just like so. Cool. Now this is gonna be a funky rocket. I have no problem saying that right now. Let's start adding some wings. It's still too tall. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I think we have a new vehicle for USS Longshaft. <laughs> Let's get some wings on here. I think some like that would be perfect there. And then one right there and then four on the outside maybe we might actually want to go for eight so let's go for eight just add extra drag on that back end because this thing is going to be flopping around like crazy that's what she said let's get that right there and we should be good okay I I keep having images of this thing exploding, so I think instead we're going to name it Explode. Uh, explode... Oh, we have to be accurate about this. The USS Explode. Alright, now save that. Once again, accurate. That's that's a naval terminology for an, an astronaut vessel. But I guess technically the Navy would be in charge of space matters if you think about it. Because it's international waters, but... That's way too much shit to be thinking about while I'm stoned. Unable to launch. You can't afford to launch this. What? Shit. We don't have enough money for this. Um, how much do these fuel tanks cost each? I'm trying to think if I could save money easily here. Cost $270. That would not bring it down by any means. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is gonna be a problem. We need to achieve orbit and achieve. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, maybe if we take these off. And how much were those worth a pop? Eight hundred fifty. Technically, we can launch it right now, but that is oh, we're not gonna get off the ground. Can we... Huh. We need to do one run to make money, so let's put this in here. This is a pretty funny conundrum. I just ran us into this, and now I have to figure out a way to solve it. Uh, get that. We have money for that. Do we have money for nose cones? <laughs> this is such a stupid thing to be asking. Do we have money to afford nose cones? No. We don't. That's really funny. Uh, let's put those off to the side then. We're not going to be going too fast, and that actually might add extra drag, so... Okay. First stage is going to be these four. Hopefully, that'll get us off the ground. Um, and then we're going to go for those four and that one. Wow, it actually correctly staged that. Um... Do I want to do that that way? I'm thinking that's a good idea, but at the same time, I'm really stoned right now, and I'm probably not thinking very correctly. Uh, we're going to use the extra drag from those, hopefully, to keep us on track. Let's just launch it, and then we'll see. We have all our staging correctly, I believe, and launch. If we kill somebody, I hope we don't, but it's going to suck. It's, I just the moment I started that sentence I was like if we kill somebody it's gonna really suck cool it is going up so we're probably not gonna explode on the pad I don't have to worry about killing anybody until it happens Jebediah I'm glad you're so happy because this thing is already starting to tilt and it's probably gonna start to wobble here in a moment about to run out of fuel decouple Nice. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I can hope. And we're rotating, which is not good. I'm going to try to pull it back. Rotate the opposite direction, please. It does not want to. At least I'm holding it stable. If we can, let's start using that. Oh, shit. Right after we stopped accelerating, that was a big difference. 
And we're still accelerating. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start pulling up. I don't even know which direction this is, but we're going to start going in that direction and hope we can make orbit. I am not even going in the direction I'm pulling, which is interesting. Uh, let's start dragging it up. Now I am. Detach. Go! Oh, this is the one I can control. Which is nice. Okay, so we're going for 135 degrees is our orbit ratio. Probably not going to happen, but we're going to see if we can at least get orbit off this. Because I know I didn't do the stack decoupler thing right. Wait, we already got the stack decoupler. Uh, thumper. Oh yeah, we're not going to get a thumper at, at that rate. Okay, um get over if we can get orbit i'm happy and we can call it a quits this episode we can always do the other stuff later and make bigger and crazy rockets we are officially in space uh bigger and crazier rockets by the way i forgot to say the other half of that sentence because i'm focusing we still have plenty of food or not food <laughs> god i can't even talk we have plenty of fuel uh, we're still going up while we're going sideways. You'll notice that our trajectory is We actually need to speed it up or slow down our fuel for a second. Whoa Because we're doing too much sideways thrust let us catch up for a second to our apiostasis or Apiopsis I need to start saying apiopsis because I'm pretty sure that's how you say it Give it about 30 seconds, and we should be fine. Cool. 111,000. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait until we get 120, and then we'll start going more. We still have, looks like, three quarters fuel, which gives me hope that we may be able to get orbit. Toggle map. That looks nice, that line's creeping out, and we're not even close to the Apiopsis yet. Apiopsis. <laughs> now I'm even fucking it up. <laughs> uh. Oh well, fuck it. I'm stoned, you can't expect me to learn language while I'm high. Even if it's my own native language. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't believe we're catching up with that as fast as we're actually traveling sideways, so we should be fine. The whole point is to chase it up this line, and I think we're doing that right. You can see the line starting to creep up on Africa. It's starting to slowly... That is Africa, right? I'd feel like an idiot if... Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. It's like the bottom of South America or something, and I'm just face palming on this side. 140, it's still going up. We're not even close to hitting it. How much fuel do we have? We still have over half fuel. I think what we're going to do then is angle a little bit further down because we don't even need to keep that up. We are way within speed. There we go. Way within speed. Way within the area that we need to be I'm once again I'm losing my train of thought as I'm looking at the curvatures and trying to do abstract math because I'm not a rocket scientist and I don't know how to do all this in my head while I'm stoned I think right now is when we should do a full burn yes it looks like we might actually get orbit I'd say about three or four more seconds uh, see, that's where I'm wrong. It'd be closer to 10. Do we have enough fuel for that? I don't think so. But we're also not near our Apio whatever. Ooh, we are close. I think we just got orbit. Yep. As it swings around, we will officially get... What the hell is going on with our camera? Da -da -da. I'm waiting for this flash, and I'm going to be so happy for it. 
Yeah, there it is. We just got orbit. Orbit Kerbin. Sweet. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, we're not going to be able to get the thumper, but we can do our science while we're up here. Observe materials bay. Not much. You're not very useful. Can I use shit? Oh, 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 shit. Oh. I completely forgot shift does that while you're messing around. Can I not? Like, okay, what the fuck? Like, it changed into orbit, and it's really messed up with the camera angle. Okay. Think I already got my science. Observe and close those doors. Keep that. Go to the other side. Observe mystery goo. Keep experiment. Cool. We got orbit successfully, and we can even bring him down from orbit, I believe, which is even better. Uh... Let's do a crew report. Nothing. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's just reset that. I'm traveling towards 135, which means I need to go to, I believe, 100, or not 190. Uh, right? No, I'm really bad at math. 315? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I'm stoned as fuck. That tends to happen while I'm bad at math. And I way overcompensated there, so let's just let that drift slowly back into the place I need it to be. I'm trying to go the exact opposite direction we were just set up to go. And hopefully, we can reverse burn to slow down enough to bring that back in. Yep, there we go. Nice, and then I can slow it way down as real quick burst. If we hit the atmosphere going too fast, we'll just kill ourselves. So slow way down, and then I think we're good. Less mass means we're going to be pulled in less speed, I think. Yes, because that thing's accelerating at a faster rate than we are. Uh, thinking back on old high school physics, the gravity equation always threw me for a loop, and then it totally like made sense one day, just like looking into space at absolute wonder. You suddenly just went, ting, and everything made sense. Uh, I think we are good. The start is coming back down. We are accelerating. But I hope we're not going to accelerate so much that we're going to burn up in the atmosphere. I don't think we are, but we might. Ooh, yeah, we might, because we're coming in at 1,600. If we come in at over 1,900, I believe it's going to burn us up. Oh, shit, it's going to be close. Let's start adjusting our uh, income trajectory. I can't really release my shoots yet. I think the highest you can release those shoots is at 10,000 meters. So I can't slow down with that. It'd be useful to just knock a shoot out at 35,000. Let it slowly drag you back as you come in. Ooh, here we go. This is this is going to be interesting. This is... I'm sketched out. We are right at the boundary at our temperature. Uh, at our temperature. At what our temperature will be. I'm going to start fiddling this thing. That's a scientific term for trying to make it where we can slow down in the atmosphere. Uh, I'm going to try to basically roll around this digit. Not this digit, this decal that has popped up our... Uh, I always want to say income trajectory, but our uh, uh, entrance trajectory. Oh, crap. 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 We are slowing down, but barely. 
Barely. All oh, right, keep fiddling it. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Cool off. This is a mountain. Shit. Cooled off. Nice. Nice. And that means we're 2,000 meters off the ground. We This is a mountain, I believe, but I don't know when we're going to hit the ground, so. Oh, that was sketchy. I thought we were going to explode, and we were very freaking close. Everything was overheating. Welds were popping. Things were creaking. Jebediah was freaking out and screaming bloody murder. But at least we survived. Uh, pop off our next shoot. And let us get back to the ground. Cool. So actually, we're only about 200 meters off the seafloor if the chute opening gave me a good enough tell. Already have all my science, have everything we can use. Sweet. And we just got an orbit. That makes me feel really accomplished. It's about to explode over there. Boom. Nice. And here we go. Oh, we're a little higher than 200 meters off the ground. Tink. What the f uh, That happened surely because we were accelerated. Uh, oh, well. Uh, it doesn't bug me too bad as long as Jebediah is not dead. Did we make any form of money off that? We did just get one hell of an achievement. Right? Right? Next... Next, and advance to level one. Nice. Cool. Um, oh, shit. We got a lot of research off that. Uh, bad science. Oh, basic science. I thought this said bad science. Uh, thermometers, radiator panels. Those would be useful. Communitron. That would be useful, but we're not making aviation yet. I do want to do aviation. Uh, I have not tried it before, so I have a feeling... I should do all that kind of on its own episode and not just start tinkering with it at the end of this one. Uh, general construction would be great. Advanced rocketry. Terrier liquid fuel. Uh, that's, ooh, big fuel tank. That's nice. What does this thing have? Crew cabins. Strut connect. Oh, struts. <gasps> Holy crap, struts. That's amazing. Okay, struts are what we can use. So, 45... I'm thinking that would be our best bet. Structural fuselage uh, carries no fuel. There's mostly a structural element. As such, it's lighter and more solid. Dude, oh, uh, brand decoupler, Rocco Max. <laughs> uh, sweet. Okay, all of this looks pretty cool. Basic science, I think, is our most useful because we could not lose our uh, pilots anymore. But we're on normal, so I don't think it's not that big of a deal. I think we're going to go for general construction, just because it immediately made me happy seeing struts. Let's go into vehicle assembly. We still have that one contract we can try, but I don't know if I should yet. Let's go in here. Get this done. Let's see if we can even use struts on this. We, There's no need, but I want to. Let's add four of those. Bam! And then add another four, just for... You know what? We could do much more than four. Thinking. <laughs> I know it's dumb. Shut up. It's it's fine. Uh, let's connect that right there. That is not at all straight. That's going to end up exploding. Let me see if I can fix that. Not really. Okay, well, I guess, can I bring that one in? A little bit, just like so. Good enough for me. Sweet. Uh, let's put some caps on all of those things. This is either going to explode, which is great, because this is the USS Explode, or we're going to set a lot of records. So let's set the thrust limiter to that, to maybe... 30% and then 35% and then we'll set 
the one right here next to it. Oh, shit. Crap. Uh, can I get this back on, please? In the same place, roughly. Now it's not even close to even. God damn it. <laughs> I need to get the left and right click down. Hold on. Let me get this fixed and we should be fine. About right there. I'm pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to go, but all right. Uh, right click, thrust limiter, and then 35%. Cool, so we're gonna have the outside edges first go off, and then, right, which ones were those highlighting? Yes, okay, so we're gonna have the outside eight go off first, and then we're gonna have those four go off, which I'm gonna have to set to like 60 maybe? I'll go for 50. And then the center ones are gonna go off, which we'll set to 60 because we know 60 accelerates us and all of those are connected via those decouplers which I believe we can now use our structural struts can I ah okay so you connect that and then connect that and then click on this connect right there and connect right there Maybe? Looks good enough to me, but I have a feeling it's gonna explode. Hmm. Radial decoupler is there. What I need to have is that one go at the same time, but. Huh. If it takes them out, it's not gonna be too bad. Okay, let's take these four, move them like so, which is not very good at all. But then, okay, uh, I'm sketched out about this. I want to add some wings to the bottom here. Probably it's not gonna help too much, but we can see. Just like so, just like so. And that's our new rocket. <laughs> this, is the USS explode because oh we have too many tons holy shit the first time ever we went over on the tonnage can we get rid of those and get rid of those that's very close all right we only need two tons less I don't think we're gonna need this much fuel to get into orbit anymore just saying we might have enough so let's take two of these off toss them how does that work? Nope, still, oh, 0.3. We only need one more off. Bam. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's save that. I have no doubt this is going to explode, but it's going to be awesome. Uh, all right, let's get the staging set up. These four and these four, all at the same time but we need to have them on their own little mask there. So let's put those four and those four, and then the inner four, and then one more for the innermost four, which will be the last stage. Theoretically, they should all work like that. That decoupler needs to be on the very innermost one. We can have that connect to that, and we can have that bottom most engine right there actually go off with those the outer ring of four the inner outer ring of four if my previous naming method is to be used save and launch this is going to be interesting I've never actually used a rocket that this is this freaking powerful but funny enough I don't think we're gonna be able to get the thumper to activate but this is really just a trial just to see so activate SAS and we are not moving anywhere nice activate the next and we are starting to move barely barely moving holy crap keep it steady Jebediah keep it steady man let's start to angle a little bit it's starting to angle 
Starting to angle. I'm trying to hold it, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Damn! If we could have kept this one stable, it would have been a good rocket. <laughs> Pull it back! Pull it back! Pull it back! Nope, there's no way. There's no way. Jebediah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna actually retry this. Good thing I did that. Uh, I'm gonna retry this. Can, yeah. Revert to launch. I'm not even gonna go to vehicle assembly. I just wanna retry that launch and use all of the mis or missiles, all of the rockets at once and see how fast we actually go. This is really just for shits and giggles at this point. T, keep it on, keep it stable, Jebediah. I doubt you can do it, but keep it stable, man. That's really interesting. Yeah. Oh shit, dude, dude. What? You... You suck, man. Uh, real quick, reorder this. Bam! 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 Oh, who's a master? <laughs> so we just saved Jebediah. I think we're gonna call it quits on this episode. I'm... I'm fucking around, clearly. And having just fun with shits and giggles, so... Uh, we're gonna call it quits here. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will try to get the last few contracts taken off and maybe, just maybe, we'll try for the moon. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. What's up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to RuneScape. Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts where we're gonna get some stuff done today.